Okay, so we just got a lot of stuff from Walmart. We're gonna have another order coming tomorrow from Sam's. We couldn't get them on the same day. We tried so much for this one month thing. Does nothing to be working. It's like a every two week, basically. I keep thinking I'm buying more, but I'm not buying more. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything that we got real quick. Um, and I'm gonna put the other part tomorrow in this video as well. So it'll all be one big video. Um, I think they gave me somebody else's potatoes. Well, I think they're sweet potatoes. I didn't order any sweet potatoes. Yeah, I'll show you guys. Hey right, guys, so here is what we have here on my table. I'm going to start on this side over here and work my way over there. Um, so over here we have, um, Frosted Flakes. I wanted some Frosted Flakes. I've been eating Honey Nut Cheerios, but I wanted Frosted Flakes instead. Um, and so that's what I ended up getting. Uh, I got some more waffles. Um, these are for my husband and my son. I like the chocolate chip ones. I have some um, blueberry ones over here for myself. We have a Red Baron uh, brick oven uh, cheese pizza. I got two things of Gatorade. They did have Gatorade at my Walmart today. Um, two things of Welch's grape juice, which are these guys. This is some shredded lettuce. This is supposed to go with bagels, but they didn't have any bagels like at all. So I didn't get bagels. I just got the cream cheese. So hopefully I can find some bagels sooner than later. Um, some old-fashioned caramel dip because I got me some apples broccoli and cheddar soup my little one likes that some more sour cream as we go through a lot of it more cheese as well because we go through a lot of it <laughs> I got two of these Caesar salads from Walmart I actually like their salads the ones that they make um, I like the deli and then there's a BLT one with turkey it's actually pretty good so I got two of the Caesar and one of the BLT I got a half gallon of milk. They did better on the date this time on the milk because the other day the milk was like three days from expiring. A uh, thing of fries. We like the seasoned fries better than anything. So we got these. These are the best ones, I think. Um, this stuff is for my face. Um, a lotion for moisturizing and witch hazel. I got some more Nexium because I am low. Here's the thing of heavy whipping cream. I use it for my sauces, as you guys know. My creamy sauces, at least. I got some Swiffer wet jet pads because I finally got a Swiffer. It's over there from my kitchen. Ours broke, so I finally replaced it. This bag here is bananas. I got some more tortilla shells because I'm going to do a couple things with these. We got some avocado. I think these, I think these may be pretty ripe avocados. They're actually not like hard. We got two cans of chunk like tuna. I got two cans of green beans, and with the baby foods, it's the same. We can only get two of everything, so I got two of the apple, chicken, and rice, two of the yogurts, uh, breakfast yogurts, and then another two of just like another mixed fruit. More juice. It's a tropical blend. Um, I got also got this guy here, which is fruit punch. This was a substitution. It's supposed to be a small thing of uh, mushrooms, but they only have this one, so that's fine. I got a thing of sliced apples. That's for my caramel over there. And these are, look like sweet potatoes. I didn't order sweet potatoes, so I don't. And there wasn't a substitution for a potato. I have to go back and check my order. Because I may have got regular potatoes and they gave me sweet potatoes. So here's my Swiffer dry and wet mop. Because I only have small spaces that need to be mopped. Like the little area over here in the kitchen. And over there by the window. Um, in our bathrooms, so I don't need anything super fancy. Light bulbs, we ran out um, in our dining area and over there by the window as well. So I got us a big box of light bulbs. What's well, not technically like a big box is eight, but it's just the bulbs are so big. So yeah, and bag of Doritos because we don't have any, and I wanted some. Got the extra virgin olive oil because I ran out like a month ago and I keep forgetting to get some, so I finally picked up some olive oil. Tomorrow I will be back with the rest of the order from Sam's Club that we're going to pick up. What time is that going to be? Between two and three, right? Yeah. Between two and three. Walmart was really good today, as always. Um, it took them a while to get everything out, but I think it's because they called everybody to come pick us up at about the same time. The girl was saying something about they had 17 cars at one hour, which is not normal. Um, but they still had our order ready early. It was 15 minutes before um, our time slot. And we sat there for maybe 15 minutes because of the fact that there were so many people out there. She apologized and everything. She's always really sweet. But other than that, they were great. They got everything right. Um, my order was updated online. Let me get back over here with this light. There it is. My order was updated online. I knew all the substitutions beforehand. I don't think I'm confused about all those sweet potatoes. But I'll figure those out and let you guys know. So I'll be back tomorrow when we go get our Sam's Club order.
morning guys good morning good morning so we ended up going to sam's a lot earlier than normal than we thought um our time was from two to three somehow it was done at eight we're not gonna question it we went up there this just now and got everything it's just a little after almost it's what almost nine something's going on with their system so the guy came out a little slower but he got out there got everything to us quickly we left so go ahead and show you guys the stuff we got from sam and then I'll close this video out. Before I get started, I want to tell you guys the things that will not be shown in the video because they're already in the fridge. There is some a bag of catfish. Um, there's also um, a big pizza. It's way bigger than we thought it was going to be. It's one of the um, Sam's Club made pizzas. It's huge. Don't know where we're going to fit that at. As well as a big thing of grapes. They're already in the fridge. So I just want to tell you guys that before I want to show you the rest of the things that are in the other room. So here is the rest of the stuff that we got today. Ignore this stuff over to the side. That's the older stuff. So I'm just going to focus in this section here. So we got another thing of the Hawaiian King um, sweet rolls. We were completely out of those. Tried to order some from Walmart yesterday. They were out. We got some more fruit snacks because we just ran out of those. Um, I wanted some gushers. I haven't had them in a while. So they had a big box. Thought, why not? Got a big box of gushers. Another case of water. We have gone through one and a half. So we got another thing of water. Um, some more oatmeal, maple and brown sugar. That's the kind that we like. Um, we were pretty much out of it. We had two containers of this about three weeks ago. So we're almost out of it. So we had to get some more. I have gone through a good chunk of my cereal. I have like half a box left. So in addition to my Frosted Flakes I got yesterday, I wanted some more Cheerios, so I got those. Potatoes. You guys, we got through so many potatoes in my house. It's crazy. So, <laughs> I'm already halfway through with one bag, so I decided to get another bag. Move some of this stuff out of the way here. 12-pound bag of pinto beans. Nowhere has pinto beans right now. So, I was so happy that we found some at Sam's today because... I like making pinto beans, but I don't I don't really care for the canned ones. I'll eat them, but I prefer to make them myself slowly throughout the day. I don't know, they taste better to me. So that's <laughs> I got another bag of pinto beans. Or I got a bag of pinto beans. I couldn't find them anywhere else. And finally, ugh, another case of Powerade. I got Gatorade yesterday, but I go through a lot of drinks. So Powerade comes in handy for me. Like very, very handy. Ugh. And over here, my husband got another thing in trail mix. He has been eating through these rather quickly throughout the day. Um, so we wanted to make sure he had some more of those when he's, you know, working and things like that. He needs a snack. And another big bag of the beef jerky. These cost like 14 bucks, but they're totally worth it. Now our food looks very chaotic. So I'm going to have to come in here and organize this in a little while because it just looks crazy so far the sam's club pickup is really good um i mean this is our first time doing it but it was like super early walmart's usually pretty early but this was like crazy early like two to three we picked up at eight in the morning it's like i'll take it and there was a glitch so the guy didn't know that we were out there so he did my husband walked over there after we sat there for like 10 minutes um, the things that we were checked in, but then another things had to go inside. So there was a guy actually standing by the door because they were doing the social distancing at the door. Um, I think they have the uh, early hours for seniors and people with pre-existing conditions to come in. And so there was a line outside of Sam's and they were about six feet apart standing in line. Um, and there was a couple guys standing at the door uh, kind of enforcing the social distancing as well as one guy there for the grocery pickup so we went and got all of our stuff um after excuse me after we um he was notified that we were there he came out within about five minutes he just said he didn't even realize he didn't know he didn't get the notification so it was really good walmart was also really good yesterday um we did get our order to come pick up early as as always it was about 15 minutes prior to our time slot and when we got there, there were a lot of cars there, but they still got stuff out within about 15 minutes. So it's, it wasn't bad yesterday either. I do like that they're doing the um, contactless pickup. 
Um, so if you approve of everything, they kind of uh, immediately send you your receipt. Um, and then they just give you all your stuff and then you go. You don't have to go out there or sign anything. Um, my husband did earlier when we just came from Sam's. Basically, um, once he confirmed it was us, um, he sent the receipt. And then he brought out a copy of the receipt as well. So that was pretty cool. Um, wasn't a long line or anything out there to pick the stuff up. I think once we got our stuff, one car pulled up behind us. That was that was it. So, so far, Sam's pickup has been really good. There were a couple things that we were trying to get that we didn't get. Um, basically, when I was doing the order, uh, when I was going, when he did the Sam's order yesterday, um, Sam's doesn't let you alter or add anything to the order once you're done with it. Walmart does, but Sam's doesn't. Um, and we found out that there was some stuff that we couldn't get from Walmart, but it was after the fact, um, <laughs> that we placed the Sam's order. So had I known, I would have gotten the bagels that I eat in the morning as well as the strawberries from there as well. Um, neither place had loaves of bread. Um, well, Sam's has it, but you can't order it online. Walmart didn't have loaves of bread, but I guess it makes sense because I didn't have bagels either. So, um, that's some stuff that you might actually have to go into the store and get, uh, but we're, we're not trying to go in anywhere. So I'll just use these, um, Hawaiian sweet rolls for the bread. It shouldn't be a problem. I also got some, um, tortilla shells yesterday, so I can do wraps or something like that, but we, we will be fine without the bread and, um, the strawberries, of course. Um, cause the ones that I got from Kroger the last time. Um, they were really old. So by the time we got them clean and put into the fridge, they only had about a day left on them. After that, they were super squishy. Um, they just don't taste good. Um, and my husband, where, where my husband's from, they eat fruit after it's older because that's when it's supposed to be the most ripe for them. Um, which I was over there and it was actually pretty good with fruit, but he wouldn't eat those. He took a bite out of one of them and it was like, ew, and spit it out and... So pretty much just a waste on those strawberries. Um, but as I said, overall, great experience with Sam so far. Um, you can also do the uh, app where you go around in the store and you scan as you go and pay for everything and then just walk out on your phone. I think that's pretty good so you don't have to stand in line. Um, so my husband has the app. So he'll walk around sometimes, scan everything as he's going and then he'll check out and pay on his phone. And what you'll do is, as you're leaving the store, show them your phone. It'll have a barcode and a receipt. And he'll scan the receipt and scan something on your thing just like they do any other time. And you can just walk right out. So that's also been quite helpful um, during this time. Um, as I said, I think they're enforcing a lot of um, stuff for what's happening. So the associate that came out... It was different at Sam's and at Walmart. At Walmart, they were saying that they wouldn't give them masks and gloves um, and said that they had to provide them for themselves at Walmart. Um, but at Sam's, they give them to their associates. So the guy that came out had a mask on. He did have one gloves. Um, and it's the same when you walk into the store at Sam's. They give you hand sanitizer and a huge disinfectant wipe. They are giving... Um, the reason why some of the Sam's clubs don't have the disinfecting stuff is because they're giving it to the associates to keep the associates healthy, healthy and clean the stores and things like that. Wipe everything down, make sure things are sanitized. So in a way that that's actually not in a way, it's actually quite good for the people that are going into the store. Uh, once you get in the store, then it's up to you to take care of, you know, the social distancing and um, your mask and things like that. But they're doing everything on their end that they can to make sure they're keeping their customers safe and healthy which I think it's pretty great. So we've come to the end of another one of my videos, another one of my hauls. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative. I know it's kind of sparse in different places and in different places you can get different things. Um, we had paper towel and tissue here like a week ago. They don't have it at our Sam's anymore. So get what you can when you can, guys. Do the best that you can. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay at home if you can. I know some people have to work to you guys. We appreciate all that you're doing. The people that have to work every single day. You guys are truly a blessing to the world right now. Because you're out there doing what a lot of people are would not do. 
say that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.